my wife's Tahoe, uh, we had noticed that she was starting to get a little bit of a low speed ABS uh, activation. And I couldn't, you know, I looked online. Uh, she was real concerned about it, obviously, because once the ABS starts pumping, uh, the brake pedal gets real firm. And so there's uh, pretty much what everybody says is that it's the, it's the wheel speed sensors that get dirty or rusty. And uh, so there's a whole bunch of videos on YouTube about how to replace or take, our, take off and clean the wheel, wheel sensors on the front. But the backs are so simple. And I kind of messed up because I took everything apart thinking I had to do the rears like the front, but that's not the case. So there's a ton of videos you can see. The one by 1A Auto is probably, in my opinion, probably one of the better ones. Um, the other one is South Main Auto. He does one that's really good too. But I wanted to make sure that, uh, that you would see before you started how easy it is to replace or clean the back ones. So on the back of the, of the Tahoe here, we've got, uh, all I've done is take the, is take the tire off. So we, here's the rotor on the front. You have to take the rotor off and then the wheel speed sensor is back in there behind the shield. But on the rear wheels of this 2017 Tahoe, which now I'm assuming is probably the same thing for, uh, for Suburbans and Silverados and all that stuff, is that the wheel sensor is on the back side of this shroud. So if you look in here, you can see right down here where I've painted blue, here is the wheel speed sensor right here in my hand. I've already taken it off. And if you look right back in here behind, uh, behind the shield from the brakes, you'll see that the sensor goes right here. So what I've done is I've taken the sensor off. I've, I've uh, sanded it down with some, with some sandpaper, some emery cloth, made that real nice and clean. And then I just did a, just a dusting of blue paint to keep it from rusting again. And then once that paint dries, we will reinsert the wheel sensor and tighten that down, put the back wheel on, and that's all we got to do. So as you can see, the, the fronts are a little bit more involved. You do have to take the, uh, the caliper off, the brake caliper off. Then you have to take the rotor off. Uh, and then you can get to that wheel speed sensor because, it, again, it's behind the rotor and the shield. But on the backs, it's so much easier. So save you some time. Hope this helped you. Make sure you're at church on Sunday.